This is what's left of 261 homes in Jura Farm, a remote village in Indian-administered Kashmir. It's less than 300 metres from the so-called line of control, the unofficial border separating regions of Kashmir run by India and Pakistan. People here say the Pakistani army shouldn't target civilian areas. A lot of damage has been done. We are left with nothing, no cattle, no food or clothes. Everything is gone. We just want peace. More than 100 people have fled the violence. They're now living in this makeshift camp where resources are scarce. Our entire village has been destroyed and it's been a fortnight now since we migrated. We are facing immense difficulties. We are short of food. Others are dealing with grief as well as hunger. The shelling started at 6.30 in the morning. Two shells landed inside our house. My wife was killed and me and my son were injured. The fire hit us inside our home. Kashmir has been divided between India and Pakistan since 1947 and remains a hotly disputed territory. Analysts say incidents of cross-border firing along the line of control are increasing and there are several reasons for this. You have elections coming up in Pakistan, you have elections in India next year. No, none of the two sides should want to be seen as um, um, you know, giving in to the demands of the other side. So uh, it's like a political will, I would say, uh, that is really leading to the rise in violations and killing. The shelling has led to the closure of at least 84 schools, impacting a new generation that's only ever known hostilities. Hostilities that threaten the fragile ceasefire implemented 15 years ago. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.